Making the arts more accessible in Colorado Springs, the Fine Arts Center is excited to bring back its City as a Venue Summer Series. Yeah, so right now, Sarah, live and local near downtown and talking all about the program with what your family can expect. Sarah, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. We are in the music room right now, joined by Nathan Halverson, the Associate Director of Performing Arts for the FAC Theater Company. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for being here so early. I feel like we just did this. <laughs> like we did too. <laughs> but you guys have so many really cool things going on this summer. The City as a Venue is back. First off, kind of tell us a little bit about that program. Well, the City as a Venue program started last summer or when we were still in the thick of COVID, mm -hmm. uh, trying to make sure that we could still share stories with our community. And so we created a bunch of programming that got us out of the building <laughs> and into the universe in safe uh, and fun ways. Great. Um, and it's still an important thing for us to do, to leave our building and bring mm -hmm. art to our community. So we're doing it again. And one of those ways is through the Wolves. Tell us yes. a little bit about that and when actually you guys started. We started last Wednesday. Okay. Uh, we run through June 26th. <laughs> we're doing it outside in our courtyard, which which, you know, spoiler alert, we're gonna go to later this Ooh, morning. Ooh, love it. Um, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it runs uh, Wednesday through Sunday for the next three weeks. Great, and so how can people get tickets? Do they come down here? Can they get them online? Yeah, call the box office. <laughs> Scroll the number. Just kidding. Um, uh, FAC.ColoradoCollege.edu. Um, it's a wonderful show about a young uh, women's soccer team. Um, and we've got CC students mixed with professional actors and youth rep students. And it's a really awesome show that we're doing. Great. And also, free museum days. Yeah, of course. Free museum days are awesome. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> yeah, art for everyone. Yeah, come see art it. for everyone. Yes. Gotta come down here. <laughs> And also a few other things going on as far as uh, the theater company goes. Yeah, we that. just started our camps yesterday. We do nine weeks of summer camp every Great. summer from 5 to 18. There are still slots available for some of our classes, so take a look at that and come on down and learn how to sing and dance and act. Oh, I love it. I should come take one of those classes. Great. I'll s we have a class at nine. Can oh, you stay? Absolutely. Okay, great. I mean, <laughs> you heard my singing before. It needs a little tune up there. That's for sure. Well, Nathan, thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us this of morning. We're excited to get to everything else. I know. And get outside to the courtyard. I know. <laughs> I agree. Okay. I'm excited. Thank you. Greg, Abby, and Matt, we are going to toss it back to you. <laughs> the city is a venue. The world is a stage. You there never you go. know oh, where something might break out. That's that right. right. That's yes. showbiz, baby. That's showbiz. Hey. showbiz. Hey. She didn't work yesterday. She doesn't know what we're talking about. It's all right. Thanks, for, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> well, bringing the arts to all ages across the city of Colorado Springs is the idea of City as a Venue, a summer long series made possible by the Fine Arts Center. So, right now, Sarah, live and local near downtown for a preview of this program and all the fun that happens uh, in the events which take place this summer. Mm -hmm. Sarah, good morning. <laughs> well, good morning, Craig and Abby. We all like free, right? A yeah. free event happening this weekend that you can see a new exhibit here, joined right now by Savannah Pinnell, the curatorial paraprofessional here. We want to talk about the new exhibit. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, so this exhibit is titled Robert Blackburn and Modern American Printmaking. It's a retrospective of the artist Robert Blackburn as well as all the other artists that he collaborated with and worked with in his workshop in New York. Great, so part of the city as a venue, you guys have a free event happening this weekend. Tell us about that. Yes, so this Saturday from 11 to 3 here at the Fine Arts Center, we're going to have hands-on printmaking activities for the whole family. Um, we're going to be working with Bemis, Ladyfingers Letterpress, CC Great. Mobile Arts, and the press at CC, and it's gonna be really fun. And just downstairs where we did the tease, actually, that is the newer store for Lady Fingers Letter Press. It just opened about a year ago. Yeah, we've been really happy to have them here. It's been really great. Great, and also, the event is free. Yes, it's gonna be completely <laughs> free and fun for the whole family. And what can people expect at the event? So at the event, there's gonna be a DIY screen, print, screen printing where people can bring in whatever items they want from home to screen print. There'll also be some items here that you can purchase and some free items as well to screen print. And you'll be able to learn about all the other types of printmaking as well. Great, so let's walk over um, inside the exhibit a little bit. Tell us a little bit about Robert Blackburn. So Robert Blackburn is one of the most influential printmakers of the United States. He created his own workshop. 
um, in New York City where he really wanted to make a space that was accessible and open for all other artists and teachers to work in. So is printmaking making kind of a resurgence? Um, yeah, I would say so. Printmaking is something that's very community-based that really brings people together and it's something really easy for people to learn. And kind of tell us about the importance of bringing it back. Yeah, so it's a really old medium, so it's really great for the tradition to be kept going and for people to continue to learn how to do it. Great, and so if people want to come down, how can they learn more about the exhibit or find more information on when they can come down? Um, so they can find more information on the FAC's website. We have a page just for the exhibition as well as for the event on Saturday. Great, and real quickly, what is the importance of bringing arts all across the community of Colorado Springs? Um, it's important to bring the arts to Colorado Springs because it's an incredible way for people to express themselves and to learn about some really important parts of history. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Exciting exhibit. you got to come see it and come to the event this Saturday. Craig and Abby, we're going to toss it back to you in studio. Great. The city <laughs> is a venue. Sarah, there thank you. you. Right. Love free. Sarah, thank you. Yeah, right. You're, you had me at free. <laughs> yeah, all right. Making the arts more accessible in Colorado Springs, the Fine Arts Center is excited to bring back its City as a Venue Summer Series. Yeah, so right now, Sarah, live and local near downtown, talking all about the program with what your family can expect. Sarah, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. It is all about the sports in this next segment because the new show, The Wolves, is all about that. Joined right now by the director, Lisa Marie Rollins. Good morning to you and good morning to all of your actors. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Of course. So tell us a little bit about The Wolves and what people can expect. Uh, the Wolves is a play about a high school championship soccer team of young women who are trying to get to the championships and it's on the surface about that process and what it takes them to get there, but underneath it's about what it means to be a young girl going into being a young woman right. and um, all of the kind of dangers and fears and all of that stuff underneath that we experience as young women turning yeah. into grown women. <laughs> yeah. And so you guys just started this in June. How long does this go for and outside venue? How cool is that? <laughs> we are loving the outside venue. We have an amazing scenic designer who helped us um, imagine the space okay. and um, folks can it, one of the beautiful things about this piece is that that uh, folks can come and experience what it's like to sort of be on the soccer field. They're actually on the field with the team, which yeah. is really fun. And, um, you know, bring your blankets and, uh, you know, prepare for all of the outside weather. Right. You yeah. never know with Colorado. We just had <laughs> snow recently. Also, it could rain, but that's why you got to be prepared. That's bring right. a little blanket, jacket. We also have the actors warming up right now. We do all of uh, these are four of the nine actors. Uh, soccer team actors that are here and um, they're right now they're just doing warm-ups and warm-ups are a really important part of the play okay. and um, most of it is because it becomes a rich ends up becoming a ritual for them to um, sort of display their love as a team for one another and their energy together yeah <laughs> their energy right now is great and they are not going easy on each other holy cow those throw-ins <laughs> or whatever you call those things holy cow better watch out so people need to come down check it out how long does this show go for? Uh, we run until June 26th okay. and um, there's lots of room so please come bring your friends, bring your young folks, think folks that you think that would ordinarily come to you know a traditional theater piece. Yeah. I think this is something that because it's a collaboration with the theater and dance department it's a little bit of a different more edgy kind of um, piece than the Fine Arts Center would usually do. Great well thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to all the actors this morning. We appreciate you. Craig and Abby. We're going to toss it back to you in. Wow, that was pretty good. Hey, good. Watch hey, out for those skills. Question. I'm mm -hmm. sure the uh, the play performance yes. is spectacular, but can any one of uh -huh. them bend oh. it like Beckham? Oh. Oh. I want to oh. see someone Let bend me ask. it like Beckham. Let me ask the crowd. Can any of you bend it like Beckham? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a yes. Okay. <laughs> we want to see it in the next segment. I know I can. Let me see that soccer ball. There you go. Come on. One, two, that. three, four, five. I'm going all day, guys. Wow. wow. Sarah oh. Ferguson. Dude, look yeah. at her with her <laughs> hidden skills. You see that? Oh, oh that's that heels, too. Wow.
That's right. Very impressive. Did you Learned know that? New. That she could do that? I did not. She has a lot of hidden talents. She I can do all things, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> the ring gave yeah. her superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> We That's like right. that. Thanks. All right, let's go because they're outside right now where it's okay, but later on yeah. today it's going to be busy.